All right, we're going to look at um, solving multi-step equations. And first, I want to do a quick review of the distributive property. Okay, so the distributive property means two times a quantity, and this quantity is x plus 3. So we would distribute 2 to x and come up with 2x, and distribute 2 to 3, and we're multiplying 2 times 3, and it's 6. In this next case, we have a negative quantity of x minus 7. So you're taking the opposite of all of the operations or signs inside the parentheses, inside the quantity, or you're looking at it as if this was a negative 1. And when you distribute, negative 1 times x becomes negative x, or negative 1x if you prefer. And negative 1 times negative 7, because the sign in front belongs to the number, becomes plus 7 or plus 7. So either one is fine. And those are your answers for the distributive property here. Okay. Next, we want to look at combining like terms right, and solving equations. So first off, we have combining like terms. We would do on both sides, but we're going to solve at the same time for the variable. So x plus 4x would be combined together because they are like things. So this is a 1x plus a 4x, so it's a 5x, still equals to 20. Always keep your equation intact. And now you'll invoke the reverse of the order of operations. So we will divide by 5, divide by 5. Right, since it's 5 times x, we'll divide and get 1, and then we'll have x equals 4. All right, now you should always check. I'm going to just do one check here so you can see the answers that we get here will be correct, but this is how you check your answers to see that you are 100% correct. You're going to take 4 and substitute it into x and always put it in parentheses in case there are negative numbers involved, plus 4 times substitute in this 4 here for the x equals 20, and you're going to calculate your left-hand side. 4 plus 16, that's 20, equals 20, and it checks. So x equals 4 is your answer. And you know it's correct now by checking. All right, so it's a good idea to check all the time. All right, next up, we have a negative x plus 3x. Again, this negative x has a 1 in front here, so it's a negative 1. So it's really negative 1 plus 3. You always add the coefficients. So in this case, we're subtracting because of the difference in signs. So 2x equals 18. Divide by 2 and divide by 2. And so x equals 9. Okay, now that comes out to 1. All right, and that's it. That's your answer. And this does check. I know that. So just for time's sake, I'm just going to keep going. All right, so we can see how to solve these. All right, next up, we have some combining like terms all on one side of the equation to solve for the variable it's given. So what we do is we go in order. 2a plus 5a is 7a minus 10a equals 9. And then we go in order again. 7a minus 10a, that's negative 3a, equals 9. Once you've gathered all of your variable into one pile, so to say, and you have... All right, so we're here at negative 3a equals 9. All right, so now what we're going to do is divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, that's a 1, so 1a equals positive divided by a negative is a negative number, so 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3, and that is your answer. All right, next up, you might see sometimes a double sign. Double signs are, are kind of a pain in the neck because they uh, get in the way. So anytime you see a double sign, just rewrite it. Negative, negative is like multiplying two negatives. It's a plus sign. 2a equals 24. So get rid of any double signs. All right. So 10a plus 2a is 12a equals 24. We're now in a position to solve for a. We have 12, so we'll divide by 12 on each side. So a equals 2, and that is your answer. All right, now we're going to introduce some of the distributive property that we saw in the beginning into the equation. All right, so negative 8 equals negative quantity of x plus 4. 
Remember, there is a, a negative one in front of this quantity. So the first thing we have to do is we have to distribute. All right, so we're gonna keep our negative eight equals, this is gonna be negative one times x, so negative one x, or just negative x. Okay. Negative one times four, and that's a positive four, so that's gonna give us a negative four, so minus four. All right, now what we're gonna do is go about our business of solving this two-step equation by adding four to each side. And I know that the variable is not on the left side, it's on the right side, and that's okay. You can leave it there, it's not gonna change anything. This will be zero. Negative eight plus four is going to be negative four equals negative x. You have a negative one in front of the x. You have to have a positive variable when you solve, so we're going to divide by a negative one divide by negative 1, and you're going to get 4 equals x, and that's your answer. All right, in this question problem here, negative 4 minus a quantity of 7 minus 4x equals 9. This is in the middle of your equation now. Um, so this negative 4, then you're subtracting a quantity. This is not the multiple, so this is not distributed. Right in front between this negative sign, minus sign, and the parentheses, the quantity, you put that one there. All right, so now negative 4 stays. Negative 1 gets multiplied by 7, so this is negative 7. Negative 1 gets multiplied by negative 4x, so that becomes plus 4x equals 9. All right, now we're going to combine like terms on the side. I have a 4 and a 7, and those are like terms. They're numerical terms only, no variables. So when you combine these, negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11, plus 4x equals 9. Always keep your equation intact. Now we're in a position to add that 11 to the other side to put it with the 9, which is another like term, but it's on the other side. And we're going to get a 0 here. So this is 4 equals 20. All right. Now remember, if that were a negative or a minus sign, you'd have to bring it down, but here it's positive, so you don't have to. Divide by 4, and you're going to get x equals 5, and that is your answer. Next we have 7x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 6. 7x, there's a big plus sign between what's happening here with that quantity. So you keep it away and you don't multiply by it. The 2 is the multiplier. So we keep the 7x. 2 times x is positive 2x. 2 times positive 6 is positive 12. So plus 12 equals 39. Again, we're in a position to gather up like terms, and this time our like terms are variables, 7x and 2x. So this is going to give us 9x plus 12 equals 39. We're going to subtract 12 on both sides. We're going to drop down our 9x equals. This is going to give us 27. We're going to divide by 9. Divide by 9, that gives us a 1 here. So we have x equals 27 divided by 9 is 3. And that is your answer. And we have one more left, and that's it. 5x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. And if you say it like that, you'll know it's being multiplied. Again, 5x minus 4 times the quantity. So we're going to distribute the 4, not the 5x. So we have 5x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 3, that's a negative 3 here, that would be plus 12 equals 17. We're going to now combine like terms, which are x terms again. So 5x minus 4x gives us 1x, or you could just put x, bring down plus 12, equals 17. We will now subtract 12. That goes to 0. We have x 
equals 17 minus 12 is 5. And that is your answer. And that's how you use combining like terms and distributive property to solve multi-step equations. I hope that was helpful.